take a small amount of sugar grains and we can see them quickly sink into the bottom of the vessel the same applies to salt make a few grains of salt again the density of the salt produces a downward motion now if we take some salt solution coloured with a little bit of food colouring to give a visual effect we should see the same downward flow but in liquid form again Now we have a tea bag. Mm. Which produces a desired flow. Which in effect is a dried leaf. And this tea bag is still piping hot, but the hot fluid is sinking to the bottom of the vessel. And the same happens with urine. Hot urine sinks to the bottom of the pan. Single length of tube, uh, the type used in aerating fish tanks readily available. We're about to create an effective spirit level used for many years. We fill the tube with water and this simple application of water and gravity will provide us with a nice equal level. Now, if we take our salt solution and add the salt solution carefully to the one side, we initiate circulation causing the one side to overflow but what we've done is we've altered the pressure creating a difference in levels and this I believe is how water exudes from a cut sapling or from a cut blade of grass where we show water exuding from the top after it's been cut because we've released the salts and we've released the tension thus allowing the water to flow over. I'll just add a little bit more salt solution so again we can see the effect. Using the same density principles, uh, we were able to cause water to flow to 24 meters or 78 feet uh, using this simple scale down model. Uh, I aim to show you exactly how the Brixham experiment occurred. First of all, we have two vessels, each, each equal um, to the level of the ground. We have a collection tray to catch the displaced water and we have a length of tube strong uninterrupted from one vessel to the other one to 24 meters. Um, we now need to fill this with water so in order to do this we need to fill the vessels and we 
put the other tube at the bottom so that both tubes are equal a little bit of wire just to hold the, hold the experiment in place and then the water is sucked from the centre very important not to get any bubbles in this experiment because it does tend to uh, to cause the experiment to fall. Much the same as cavitation causes the circulation to fall. Now we need to draw the water out. So the best way to do this is to lift your vessels high and let the water flow out through the centre. Again, making sure no air bubbles are trapped inside. Mm -hmm. And then we add our coloured salt solution. So now we have our coloured salt solution and our experiment is set ready to go.